Hi, give me a second to find the video. I'm loving this energy, so I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to use it to shift your reality today. Give me a second to find and share it out. I'm really vibing with this energy. You guys know that my sun sign is in Taurus, but I have a lot of Taurus in my chart. So clearly I'm vibing with this energy. I told my boyfriend I'm really in my element with this storm and I'm loving it. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to shift your reality, how to dress, make drastic changes with this energy. Uh, make sure you guys share this out. I'm doing the same. A lot of people are not catching me live anymore because I'm on, you know, United Kingdom time here. And it's okay, you guys can still share the feed out because I don't find the person to give away third eye activation till the next day. So make sure you guys share this feed out for a chance to win a third eye activation. It's an amazing energy here. It took me a while to adjust to these frequencies because, you know, any of these cosmic energies hitting the planet are really hitting the UK first and getting distributed globally through the ley lines. And it's a powerful energy here when they're having these space storms. So it took me a little bit to ground into these energies, but I'm loving this storm. Share this feed out real quick. I'm about to get started. Drop your name if you're going to want a fairy card. Alright. So make sure you guys share this feed out. Facebook is always trying to block me and censor me and banning me so I can't share in any groups. So make sure you guys share this feed out too. I want to get a really... um. A big feed going today. I always do bigger feeds whenever there's a space storm. All right, we have a full moon tomorrow. The sun has shifted into Scorpio, so you guys can expect for people to be more emotional. So if you're already like in a state of bliss, you're probably going to be feeling more bliss. If you're already depressed, then you'll probably be feeling more depressed. It's just going to bring out what's already there, this energy. Um, it's a really intense energy that we're going through though. We've had a lot of cosmic radiation hitting the planet and we have all of the elements at play for some magic. Yes, we have a full moon, we have cosmic space energies, everything. All that it's going to take for that final ingredient is your thoughts right now. So we're still having some reprogramming we need to do with the mental aspect where some people are still thinking about things they don't want to see happen, where people are having fear-based thoughts like thinking about this could go wrong, this could happen, you know, this could turn out this way, and having these really negative thoughts. And you know what? These thoughts are structuring and shaping our reality but creating our pathways. So if you have like really bad negative thinking patterns like I used to, before I did this inner work, I used to have a lot of really fear-based thoughts and negative thinking, and that was shaping my entire reality. So, you know, those fears would play out and manifest into my reality. I was always creating experiences I didn't really want doing that. So, you know, we can completely, and you are whether you realize it or not, you're going to be shifting your reality. Like in the next 12 hours, we're going to go through this 48-hour window where it's going to be moving us onto different timelines. And so we can really have a lot of power and control over what timelines we're landing on right now. So this planet is getting ready to make some even bigger energetic shifts with this storm. It's a powerful energy for creating. And you know what? You're going to land on whatever timeline you're thinking about. If you're thinking about your dream vacation, your dream job, the dream house you want, you're going to land on that reality, that probability. And so if you guys are thinking about things that are going to go wrong in your life or that you guys are going to be broke or sick, you're going to land on that timeline too. It's very, very important that we get a grip on our thoughts right now. Like the next 48 hours, it's never been more crucial that we're only thinking about things that we want to see manifest. As we're having this awakening, we're coming back to a unity consciousness. It's a word I'm always using. We're reconnecting. 
to that source energy around us. We're meeting new light workers. We're making these new grids. And you know what? The ones that are awake are creating the fifth dimension right now, the fourth and fifth with our thoughts. The fourth is pretty structured, but we're really creating the fifth dimension on every level. And so it is the ones that are awake. So, you know, if you guys are having negative thinking patterns, it's affecting my reality more than you guys know. So a lot of people are like, I'm not sure this stuff works. Trust me, every thought that you're having is a vibration and it's going out into this continuum and it is affecting everyone's reality. We're also interconnected that you can't have, you know, something happening right here that isn't affecting you on some level. So it's really important that if you guys want to change your reality that we think change our thinking patterns because that is what is drawing every one of your experiences to you. Um, our conscious is powerful. Your brain is like a supercomputer that is literally projecting your entire reality as you know it. So as we're doing this awakening, we're changing our perception. We're making shifts in how we're seeing things and how we're thinking about things. And that is what is changing our reality on every level that we need to expand the way that we're seeing things and that's going to open us up to our infinite potential on every level so we need to get rid of any kind of limited thinking so a lot of people like Briani this morning said she's gonna try to manifest her dream house but she doesn't know how or if it'll work right we need to immediately stop how we're thinking about manifesting on every level I told her that she needs to be thinking that she's getting her dream house and it's coming now that we need to really change how we're trying to put out our manifestations that usually in my life I'll think of something I need to create and a second later I'll think well what if that doesn't go right what if it doesn't work in doing that we're shutting down anything that we're trying to create we are our own obstacle no one else with the things that we're trying to manifest so we really just need to stay focus instead of saying I want to get this car in a few years you should be saying I am getting this car and now for <laughs> any minute right that's what I always do on feed but you can see it works though so I'm sure I sound crazy when I'm like I'm going to the UK and I'll be merging there but look it works so we really need to change how we're thinking and talking about our manifestations our thoughts are powerful words are even more powerful when I get on this feed and I speak it aligns the right people to me that when I'm just sharing my truth and my experiences, it's profound, it's powerful. So words are even more powerful. You guys should be speaking about your manifestations, not like I want to do this one day or I might do this. No, you're doing it. It is coming. It is on its way. It is manifesting. So really try to restructure how you're thinking about the things that you're trying to create too. That helps so much. Speak about them. Write them down. Make a journal. Like I'm just starting a manifesting journal where I'm just going to write down random things I'm working on or trying to create start a manifesting journal make lists speak about it it's even more powerful than thinking about it we're channels but we're putting out a lot of thoughts all day long and they're going out as vibrations we're not as clear as we need to be um, I always say that earth is a facility right <laughs> I said that earlier this is a, you can look at this like a training facility it is for badasses okay you are a warrior to even be here in this matrix there is a long wait for souls to even incarnate into this place so we spend a lot of time and I know a lot of other people do about complaining about our reality that is the number one way to block yourself manifesting the people that get stuck in that rut like I'm broke my reality sucks everything's going wrong it's everything you should never do because it will block you in every regard manifesting. We need to be grateful for the things that we do have. We need to see how good we have it compared to a lot of the world too. And we just need to be in gratitude. That is the fastest way to raise your vibrational frequency, put you on the right frequencies to attract more abundance into your life. So spend more time in gratitude for the things that you do have. If you wake up in gratitude, it will rewire your entire brain, creating new pathways. You know, you can go ahead and you can see this scientifically. Those pathways are manifesting into your timelines in the physical. So make sure that you guys are spending more time in gratitude. That will unlock a lot of the blocks that you guys are facing when it comes to manifesting things into your life. This energy is powerful. I told my boyfriend that I bet a lot of people will probably be um, in bed or on the couch from it. <laughs> like they won't be able to move in it because they're not used to flowing with it. More self-care. 
but this is a powerful energy for building and creating. Um, I felt very blocked the last moon that we had. Like it was like I wasn't even able to manifest and now I'm flowing like on all new levels. You guys should be seeing more synchronicity, feeling more lucid, feeling more clear headed, like you're awakening. I said that this energy was going to affect humanity's brain waves from now until the end of the month and it really is. It's bringing us to more lucid states. It's expanding our perception. It's making it so that we can see things more clearly. We need to do more letting go of toxic people. I already did a feed on this this morning, so I'm about to wrap it up and do cards. Um, but for those of you guys that have not joined my Sparks of Divine Light healing groups on here, I do a videos every day in those spaces too. So make sure that you guys join them. I always put the links below, but they get lost. So there are two groups on here that are my Sparks of Divine Light healing groups. Definitely um, add them if you guys want to see more of hear more about manifesting and getting lighter with this energy. I just did a feed on it. You guys need to ditch the karmic relationships. Well, what's the karmic relationship? Those are the things that you need. You came to wrap up on this planet, actually. Lessons that you came to, um, you know, clo for closure. So your first karmic experiences would have been with your families on whatever level. And those are lessons that you need to um, clear on every level to do this ascension. So a lot of people are hanging on to toxic people. Like, I can't get rid of this person. They're related to me. I can't get rid of this person. You know, they're my family friend. They've been around 10 years. I don't want to be an asshole. You need to really do that because we came here to get closure in these relationships. Let go of anyone toxic, especially if they're related to you. That's really a karmic situation that you need to deal with and to heal from on every level. When you release the toxic people around you, you're releasing yourself. Those are the chains that are tying you here to this planet. It's not the government. It's not really these systems. It's the relationships around you. We tend to keep um, incarnating back with the same people in different roles, life after life. And any type of karmic lesson, the lesson is to love yourself enough to leave. That you shouldn't have to deal with toxic people. That you should elevate past that. You shouldn't put up with it. Like any of those narcissist empath relationships, things like that. That's what they are here to teach you. More self-love. More letting go with this energy. So, what... If you guys were to be wanting to live your dream life in a year from now, what would you have to do to get there? If you guys are really picturing your dream life and where you would ideally be, because, you know, when we're manifesting, never ever think of money. Like, everyone's thinking, oh, that's not possible, I don't have the money. Just put that out of your mind. That's what they do to us. Start to think about what your dream life would look like, like if you could be living your dream life. In a year from now, what kind of changes do you need to make? Who's blocking you from that? You know, anything that is hindering your ascension or your spiritual progress is just a distraction here there's nothing more important than doing this ascension with the rest of your consciousness group anything else is just a distraction start to get rid of the toxic people around you the people that are not changing the negative people and the reason why is because that keeps us on their timelines that we don't realize we merge realities with all the people around us right so we're merging realities with our family members, our friends, the people that we're meeting on our journey. We might want to let go now so that we can vibrate into the higher dimensions like we're trying to do. And a lot of those people are blocking us from progressing forward on our spiritual path. So we tend to collect the people from our past lessons. Um, you're a much different person than you were even a few years ago. A lot of people are really hung up on their experiences too, the things that we went through. Um, like I said, this is a school for warriors. It's very hard to be able to come here to try to assist humanity during this time with everything going on. So you're not the same person you were a few years ago going through those experiences. You're unrecognizable as a person now. So don't get hung up on past lessons and the things that you went through becoming the person you are now. They're not important. So many people are hanging on to traumas, things they didn't like, you know, those things are weighing down your frequency on a soul level. So we really just need to purge anything out that is weighing us down either physically or on the soul level as well. Let go. More detoxing. This is about getting back to a pure state where we can vibrate, um, you know, at a pure enough state to access higher densities, higher dimensions, more purifying. Everyone wants heaven on earth without embracing those kind of qualities, right? Everyone's like, oh, I want to live in heaven on earth. Well, well then we need to be heaven-like. <laughs> All right, make sure you guys share this feed out. Drop your name for a card. I'm just trying to pull it up. My phone's being 
crazy. All right, if you guys need me, I'm going to be um, doing readings and energy work. I'll be here through Thursday, so I'm really excited about this storm. It's a really good time to heal. A lot of people don't realize that. I only flow with certain energy or work with certain energy. I'll wait until the energy is really good. So it's an amazing energy for healing. If you guys need me, the link is above. Check out my energy healing classes if you haven't already. Activations. And um, I have our Tibetan heart chakra activation on sale, I think, for like another four days. Check it out. It's soul retrieval, soul fusion. And it's really, really good if anyone had any type of past traumas, things like that. Sherry Louise. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. Resting is investing your energy wisely, right? So a lot of people are going to feel that this Taurus energy is very chill. Taurus is usually a chill sign. I'm usually pretty calm. Um, so it's a chill energy, but you're probably feeling guided to rest more, spend more time with yourself. Taurus is a sign that needs a lot of alone time to recharge. So you guys are probably feeling more of a pull to isolate, spend more time alone, more self-care, you know, eating better food, living more, loving more, things like that. This um, energy is really good for any relationships too. So if your relationship is going bad, or if you're fighting, or you're not vibing during this energy, your relationship just might not be serving you. You know, this should be amplifying and intensifying things with your love life. So if you're really having a hard time with this energy or this Venus retrograde, use that to look at your relationship a little bit deeper. The things blocking us from love are our own perception about things and people usually. That usually it's the way we're looking at the situation. We're looking at other people. Let go of anything blocking you guys from love right now. This is about coming back to unconditional, divine, pure source love. And we really need to get rid of all the things blocking us from that. We have so many like things that we went through in our experiences that we let affect our future relationships and things like that. So more releasing when it comes to love too. This is a journey into love, like on every level. That's what it's going to end with. That's where it's headed. If you're not there yet, Gabrielle Chamul. Hi, good morning. Look at the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. I have some mountains to move in my own mission and I'll be using this energy to do it. Um, I'm going to be using this to, you know, make better shifts onto better timelines and things like that. So you guys are going to be landing on whatever timeline you guys are thinking about what, right now. So make sure you guys are only thinking about things that you want to see. We can really move huge mountains right now with this energy in crazy ways too. Stay positive and high vibe. April love. Where do I see myself in 20 years? I have no idea, but in a year I'm going to be shifting and doing this event with the rest of humanity. And the ones that are on the ascension path, the ones that are awakened are going to merge into the fifth dimension completely. And all the lower dimensions are going to fade away simultaneously. So I have a year plan where I have a year to put in a lot of spiritual work to help make this happen for humanity. So I'm going to be working very hard the next year. I would not be making any 20-year plans. <laughs> Sorry, we're making a planetary ascension, so I don't want to, you know, put a roadblock on whatever you're trying to manifest. Ten, five years from now even, I would not be doing it. There's things changing on every level around here. <laughs> April. It's time to go after your dreams. Do something to expand your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. Yeah, I keep on saying don't make any long-term plans or you guys will just be so disappointed. What if you're working towards that five-year plan and a year from now everything materially fades away and leaves? You guys will just be so disappointed like I was on a lot of my journey doing the same where I was putting my focus on the material and then all that faded away. So I've been through it several times in preparation for what's coming and I know it was very hard for me to do to walk away with just my energy. But that's what we're getting ready to do. So a lot of people are, have these five-year plans, ten-year plans focused on the material and, you know, building things. I would not be doing that right now. You guys should just be focused on yourselves, healing, and your energy so that you can make this final timeline jump with the rest of your consciousness group. We're on a year countdown. Sophia Hernandez. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. And that's what everyone on this feed I keep saying is getting trained for leader status. And I know a lot of people are like, 
I'm talking to the empaths and the healers and you guys are probably like, no, if you're anything like me, like, no, thank you. But that's what we're really gearing up for on every level. Um, we came here with a different type of energy. We came here to do this ascension. And it's really important that you guys know that you're going to be teaching and leading and inspiring people as well. Lizzie McDizzle. I can't tell if I just did you. I'm looking at the comments like <laughs> matrix face, right? Lizzie, <laughs> wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. Yes, dream bigger right now. What is the future going to consist of? Whatever you're thinking about right now, you're creating it on every level. Someone's like, I want a more clear, aligned plan of the future. Like I said, the ones that are going to be the first wave making this ascension will be ascending into the higher dimension so everything as you know it is going to fade away in the blink of an eye everything in the 3d construct everything in the fourth dimension construct and we're going to exist in that fifth dimensional space so we have until 2020 to make this planetary ascension it doesn't matter it's happening regardless of anything that we're doing just by this planet moving through higher levels of consciousness and getting hit with these cosmic energy blasts it's happening on every level all around us so things as you know it are about to change as that old construct you know the government is in their last days I'm saying and they know it so they're fighting for control over this planet and you're gonna see a lot more being exposed politically where they're gonna start firing people and say they're restructuring and fixing things and whatever it is you're gonna see more and more political drama and illusion playing out um, because they know what's coming and what's gonna happen so in the blink of an eye everything as you know it is gonna change on this planet and I don't think people are really ready I was trying to talk to my boyfriend about this this morning I said he's telling me like you know that shit's gonna hit the fan right I said oh yeah I know and he's like <laughs> and I'm like you know I don't think people are ready for it as much as I get up every day and I'm trying to teach people and I'm trying to prepare people for the future because I'm always living in those spaces the past and the future if you know me and I'm doing everything within my power to try to get people to change and to heal and to detox and be ready for these energies when they hit us and I'm telling him I don't think most people are ready most people are asleep living unconsciously in their little illusion and they are not very aware that things are changing rapidly all around us and what's coming like and even the people that are on this ascension path like me like I'm like I don't think people are ready we're completing this cycle it's coming to the end of the cycle that's why it's never been more important that you guys wrap up and close any type of karmic relationships, any type of karma holding you to that 3D construct on every level. That is your enslavement, trying to le uh, level up and uh, liberate out of here on every level. Like, oh, the things that are holding you down right now. We don't know. We don't really have a time of, I don't have a date of when this event will occur, this timeline merger. I don't have like, oh, it's going to be such and such date, such and such time. No one knows. No one can tell you that. Um, so be ready. Michelle Whitfield. Awesome about the lavender satchels. We just had like a whole talk on my other feed about lavender and putting it in the bath and how it's really good for anything psychic. So I'm a huge fan of lavender. I put it in my baths every day. Michelle, take time to take action. The power of creativity. Success that allows for a life of luxury. And it really is time to take action. Now, we know how these things work. I've, I've been doing a million of these feeds. You guys have been watching them. So we know that our thoughts are creating our reality. And that if we could be more positive and high vibe, we can change our entire reality and make it amazing. It's time that we put this stuff into more action. I know I'm always talking about manifesting. It's time that we manifest bigger. Angelica Clark. Yep, you're a totally different person than a year ago. Oh my god, imagine 10 years ago. <laughs> right? Get rid of the people you have been collecting. Like, the people, you know, that I collected from a year past, I'm just getting rid of them out of my life. I'm ready for new experiences, and I'm finding that as I'm doing this inner work, I'm drawing more and more high-vibe, spiritual-type people to me. So I'm getting rid of the people that are blocking space for new people to come to me. So I've been doing a lot of purging and letting go of the people that I'm not vibing with, old friends, things like that. Angelica, open your heart to love. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. <clears throat> um, like I said, this energy is really going to awaken a lot of people 
from now until the end of the month, but it's waking us up more. I know everyone's like, I'm just awake and it's a one stop kind of thing, but no, we're always growing and expanding our consciousness and evolving. <clears throat> and it's really bringing us to lucidity on a whole new levels with this storm. So you guys should be able to see things clearer. You guys should be feeling um, more tuned in psychically with your abilities too. Taurus is a sign all about the senses. So you guys should be feeling that you can tune in through your senses more. Bethany, falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. <clears throat> I'm always telling everyone love is coming and that some people are like, yeah, right. Love is the point of all this, that we find certain souls time and time again and it's okay we made our life plans ourselves that we mapped out our life not just alone but with an entire consciousness group and we have very synchronistic kind of timelines going on all in the same place but they lead to love at some point more love april love send in a lot of reiki too through this feed News worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births. Friends you cherish. Work on your non-romantic relationships around you. They're very powerful. When you can come together with other awakened people that are spiritual and you can vibe with them, it does so much for your energy to be around the right people. You guys know how it is if you go into like a job that's real toxic or you go into some kind of matrix event and everyone has real toxic energy there you guys know you'll feel it on every level and you'll probably feel like shit after but if you're around the right people it's really uplifting for you it'll really heal you on every level mandy gill good morning immediate action a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship and taking action is a huge word I'm always throwing around on my feeds. You guys know that, that it is time for us to take action, that, you know, there's really no excuse why we shouldn't be doing what we came here to do, and that is our spiritual ascension on every level. You're already programmed in every level of your knowing to do this. Christina Ann, you are releasing... Let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. You let go of one toxic person in your life, 20 new opportunities will open up for you. New pathways, new probabilities, new experiences. So holding on to the people from our past lessons is one of the hugest, biggest way that humanity is being blocked at this point from our path forward. More releasing. Lisa Troxell. The lovers, true love that is long lasting, choices made from the heart, a return to good health. And I tell everyone this on this feed that if you guys are not in a spiritual type of union, that you guys will be. That is the end result here that, you know, coming back into oneness on every level and you're not going to do it by yourself. So you have to come back into alignment with yourself first before you guys can come in alignment with another person. Trust the process. Becky Besant. Becky, review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourselves and others. And that's a huge part of this that, you know, we tend to see things through our perception and we really need to be open to seeing, you know, the divine in everyone around us. This is an amazing energy for that, that you guys need to start to see better qualities in yourself and the people around you and kind of see the purpose and all this. Carrie Christine, sending lots of love. Carrie, children or childhood, the return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred. Take an inventory of your past relationships and do any clearing. I say the best way to clear karma is just to say that, you know, you guys did the best job you could learning together, but you're ready to clear any karma and move forward on your path. So sometimes we let go of people and the karma still remains. Well, you have a choice. You guys can clear that this life or come back again with that person and continue to learn with them. So it would be really smart since we're coming to the end of our cycle to clear any karma because if you have to come back, you're going to have to do a whole nother cycle on this planet. And I personally am not coming back. So you guys might want to do more of an inventory of your past relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could have been things that didn't go well with past partners, family members, friends you had. Just do a little inventory. Do some more karma cleaning. 
Gina Eaton. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. <clears throat> this energy is reminding us to play. I'm doing a lot of work with elemental energies this storm um, in my own life. But we're being asked and reminded to play more. That we're always so serious, doing prison planning, and we forget how to have fun and enjoy our lives while we're here. Um, you know, see the beauty in the little things. Get outside, play more, get more nature, take a break. Elise Deed. Ego. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. And I keep on trying to tell everyone that if you lost everything that you owned in the blink of an eye in a year, how would you feel about yourself and your life at that point if you lost everything materially? in the blink of an eye because it's coming and a lot of people are working on the material aspects in their lives and you know spending money on all the shit around them if it just fades away how are you going to feel having just yourself and your energy to do this because it's coming i know a lot of people don't believe me then they're starting to see that yeah it's happening so make sure you guys are working on yourself like if i could go back and go my journey do my journey differently, I probably would have put a lot of the money I spent into buying external stuff into myself and my own energy and things like that. Work on yourself. We're gearing up to walk away with just ourselves and our energy. So make sure you guys are aware of that. Gina Rodriguez. Everyone wants a new world, but they don't want to leave the old one. <laughs> right? Everyone wants to shift to a new earth and a new world, but they're having a hard time letting go of the old. Well, that programming has become really outdated. I'm sorry, your paths are no longer serving you. They're not very reflective of who you are. They're more reflective of who you were when you woke up on some level. So they're just not kind of outdated for the programming that you're going through right now. Make sure you guys are realizing that. And Gina Rodriguez. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. I always say we have infinite work anyways. Page yourself. Lynn Anderson. Being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity. Taking someone or something for granted. Discontentment with life. Um, it's just amazing that we're even alive and experiencing all of this right now. Um, you know, consciousness has expressed itself in the forms of many people in different types of experiences. And it's pretty amazing that we're here doing this ascension and experiencing these events on every level. Um, we really need to see how profound of a time this is for humanity with everything that's occurring all simultaneously. It's an amazing time to be alive with these events and the way humanity is headed. Andre Evan Chalk. Get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking. Unemotional relationships. Everyone's going to learn how to speak. Yes, you're going to have to speak to enter and access the fifth dimension that everyone's always talking about. The fifth dimension that would really have a lot to do with your higher self and your throat chakra and the truth that you're speaking. Um, so we know that there's lots of things blocking us from the higher densities. Learn how to stand in your truth. Learn how to live it. Learn how to speak it. Your truth will liberate you. Oh my God, Larissa Beats. I love your astral travel story. We never sleep as good with any kind of lunar energies, but you guys are probably having better dream recall and things like that. We should be through the end of the winter, so it's an amazing time of year to be astral traveling, meditating, having out-of-body experiences, things like that. Larissa. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden or unexpected changes. And we have a lot of changes that we need to make in both our environments and ourselves personally. So just keep on working on getting rid of the things not serving you. Marissa Raskowski. Powerful intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear. Understanding the truth of a situation. You know, I put a article up this morning talking about how the third dimension is a really good example of when you manifest your fears and the things that you don't want to see. If you look around politically and everything going on in the prison planet world and that paradigm, it's a really good example of what happens when you manifest your fears. 
Um, we need to start to manifest our dreams. We need to reverse our thinking patterns. We're always thinking of what if this goes wrong? What if it goes better than you thought? What if things go amazing? Remind yourself of these things. We're always thinking of it could go bad. Not it's going to go even more amazing than I thought. <laughs> Michelle Gray. Stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successful multitasking, sudden events or changes. We need to simplify our lives on every level. You're going to probably be a happier person if you can simplify your life on some levels. So Prison Planet wants you to take on more and more and more and always be running around like a wind-up doll robot. Um, but you're going to probably um, have a more peaceful life if you guys can simplify things. More simplifying. Bruja Peterson. Opposing goals arising from different opinions. Feeling at odds with yourself or others. Overly ambitious people. Work on better energetic alignment. You know, if I'm not aligned energetically, my world will start to look more chaotic. Like I'll manifest more chaotic situations. It'll be very reflective of my energetic state. So I have to stay really grounded and balanced throughout these storms. Make sure you guys are staying really grounded. Iris, follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. This is all about creating, right? We're supposed to be this co-creators. We're supposed to be creating our reality, manifesting. Get creative. It doesn't matter if it's music, art, um, some type of drawing, playing, things like that. They put us in the flow. They put us in the now. More creating. Let's see. Andrea Salgado. Cautious but wise action. Meticulous attention to detail. Kindness to others. I always, I said this yesterday, and I saw a couple of people got my message loud and clear that if you guys want to get rid of some manifesting blocks, that if you got a card, or if you watch my video, or you ever got a card, or you got a healing service, go leave a review on my page. We forget that we have to give to receive things, so if we go ahead and we like lift someone's vibration, do something nice for someone, it'll open us up to receiving a lot more. So if you guys want a way to hack your manifesting abilities, go review my page. Whenever you support my mission, you get really, really good karma. <laughs> like, really good karma. The universe is very aligned with it. So go leave a review if you got a card. It'll help unblock your manifesting and open you up to receive more. Let's see. Catherine, need him. Reward yourself for all your hard work. Being happy and successful. Self-employed. <clears throat> cherishing your time alone. Yes, more work is happening, though, on every level that we're going to be making even bigger shifts where, like, me it could just be like I shifted into another reality or a parallel universe on some level so we're going to be gearing up to make bigger and bigger shifts um, I know you feel it and that you're feeling that pull anyway our soul always knows what's coming on every level that we can go ahead and delude ourselves all we want with our ego and convince ourselves of our version of reality but your soul knows on every level that's why a lot of people um, before they're gearing up for love they'll be feeling a pull that they want to be in a relationship or it could be like Catherine where she probably hates her job right now that is the pull that is guiding you to what is coming Jamie Lee Crotty Plan your next steps with an eye to the short term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. The satisfaction from a job well done. We're always like waiting for future events. Like maybe in 10 years I'll do this. Maybe in 5 years I'll have this. Spend more time in the now. We need to think more short term with everything that's going on. And we really need to enjoy the moment. Because you know the now is all we really ever have. Let's see. Holly Moore. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance to how you spend and save money. Help those who are less fortunate. More Reiki. <laughs> More Reiki. Let's see. Oh, sending you lots of love today, Sherry. Ashley Samak. 
Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. I mean, we've had a lot of hard experiences, but that's what made you into this warrior. So a lot of people look back and they're like, oh, I wish I didn't go through that. I wish that never happened. I wish I could change this. You need to just embrace the process that everyone kind of had the same deal going on. And it's what made us who we are now. And that's what's important, us in this moment. Not any past experiences. Those should be kind of like, if you look at your memories, it should be almost like remembering a dream at some point, right? Where it's kind of fading away, hard to remember, right? You might kind of look like a dream when you recall it. Things like that. So... Let go of the past more. Teresa Duncan, I'm loving it. I'm vibing with it. I'll be working crazy, my usual energy routine that I told my boyfriend that I used to like, I wouldn't feel like working a lot during the space storms and that if I lay around, I always feel way worse. Like I can't lay around during the space storms. I have to move around a lot. I've been like cleaning and doing stuff and working and moving a lot. So I always feel a lot better when I move around a lot though. So if any of you guys are feeling like you're not vibing with the energy, you're tired, lethargic, ascension symptoms, try to move around more, try to get outside. Teresa. Trust that there's a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of everyone. Focus on what frightens or worries you. Yeah, we need to get rid of fear. Fear is the number one enslavement tool. We see the government using it, right? Fear, oh my God, blow up some towers, have some school shootings, fear everywhere, right? It's like a virus. It really is. It's what's enslaving humanity. Fear is the lowest frequency. It just drops your frequency all the way down, um, and it really can overrun your thinking patterns, too. Let go of any fear ever. We have to understand how powerful this universe is and how we're such an expression of it, too. Christine McKernan, hi. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. You're no less than the whole entire universe in every regard. Cheryl Jolly, hi. I'm sending crazy love too. I've seen, she said that she got, um, that, wait, that she's got off the pharmaceutical drugs and you wouldn't believe how many people in our movements with us just coming together and vibing and hanging out, how many people have ditched so many toxic medications. Like, I was just thinking about that this morning, how that's a big part of our fight, that like 90% of this planet is on some type of psychiatric type medication or something like that a lot of psychotropic drugs being pumped out throughout humanity and that's a big part of our fight around here and I couldn't be more proud of the people that ditched the toxins and went holistic and started to detox because it makes such a difference when you're on those kind of medications they make you think negative they really change the chemical reactions in our brain and they bring out any type of negative thinking patterns so I couldn't be more proud of everyone around us in our consciousness group Cheryl, information that can help you but may be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. I just did a whole talk on indigos um, because I am one and clearly the indigos have more work to do around here because, you know, a lot of these kids are incarnating in here rainbow frequencies already and I'm an indigo so I had to make my, I'm making my way to rainbow frequencies so I have more work to do and a lot of the indigos do but we were needed on this planet to bring those galactic frequencies into these places and to anchor that truth and light into here um so we're seeing a lot of indigos a lot of rainbows I just did a video on it too in my group I told you guys to join the sparks of divine light healing group it's a big topic especially with these storms so the indigos are going through a rapid transformation right now on every level as we're getting restructured and upgraded and leveling up to rainbow. It's very huge what we're going through. <clears throat> Tammy Oliver, glad you caught me. I'm kind of late today, so I'll probably have more people on here. I'm trying to see the time real quick. Tammy, a windfall of money, advice or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career. I've been putting out a lot of manifesting grids. I'm going to be gridding a lot the next couple of days, so I'm putting manifesting grids out on my page too. Make sure you guys are gridding, making lists, speaking about your manifestations, putting out powerful vibrations for them. Mercedes Suarez. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. 
We're living in a world where people have no boundaries. The government clearly has none either, right? They just don't have any boundaries anymore. So we need healthy boundaries. So we need to stand up and say, no, this isn't okay. <laughs> right? No, this is not okay. You can't do this, both in our personal lives and on a collective level. So more boundaries. Say no if you want to. Emma Murphy. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Everyone and anything can heal. We know this. <laughs> Anna Cipher. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Rosa Patterson. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between your work and home life. If you think that the whole universe is out to fuck you over, it will be. If you think the whole universe is aligned with you and is, you know, bending and moving mountains to assist you, it will be. Whatever our perception is... Whatever is going on with our perception is happening in our reality. So a lot of people get really negative thinking patterns like everyone's going to probably steal from them, rip them off, fuck them over. And that's the reality they will live in where they will draw that to them. Whatever we're focused on, we're going to create. So I prefer to live in a reality where, you know, I'm this light worker and the whole universe is aligned with me in every regard. And that's powerful. So believe and know that the universe is aligned with what we're doing here. Susan Arnett, <clears throat> do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, or apprenticeships. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. I love this card because I always say the universe loves to play school. What do you do as soon as you're old enough to? Where do you go? School, right? <laughs> you set off to school. The universe loves to learn. You actually get a dopamine high when you learn new information. You get a high off of it. So it's going to give you like a chemical kind of high when you're learning. The universe loves it. It loves to explore, learn new things, know itself, things like that. You guys know I do a lot of energy healing classes and the link is above. If you guys want to play school with me, it's something I'm doing every day. I'm doing it right now. I'm playing school on feed and the universe is so aligned with it. It loves it in every regard. Let's see. Lacey DeCula. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter in your cause. And like I said, we're all getting geared up to be teachers and leaders and healers and to be assisting humanity in whatever our mission is. So just know that if you guys are watching my feed, then you guys are light workers and you're carrying a different type of energy that is needed to do this ascension. And it's very, very powerful. Rachel Byron, I keep saying we're almost halfway over. It's almost the end of the year. 2020 is our target year date, right? So we have about a year left of this, a little over a year, and we're halfway done with this two-year period of purging and detoxing and getting purified, and it's very powerful. So we had very hard journeys to get here. Ascension is very hard, too. I have my moments, right, where I would be crying about it, and I would get back. Well, if it was so easy, everyone would just turn into a rainbow light body, and it's really hard work, and you know that it is. Um, it's just so much work, but it's so worth it. You guys know that, that whenever something takes that much work, like our whole life paths, that it's going to be so worth it in the end. You'll feel so good about yourself. That is, the universe is trying to empower us. It doesn't want us playing the victim and miserable here. It's trying to lead us into empowerment, into who we are. Rachel. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. Yes, we need to adventure more, myself included. I'm trying to adventure into the unknown and do new fun experiences. And the universe is really aligned with that. It really is. More adventures. I know a lot of people can't, you know, journey across the planet like I'm doing, but you guys can go to parks you've never been to. You can get out in nature by your house to somewhere new. Just do something off your bucket list close by. Get out and have more experiences. Oh, Sandra Kirkpatrick. Thank you. Um, 
I love the vibe in this house. There's a lot of elemental energies here. My um, boyfriend is much different than me as a soul, where I'm clearly a starseed, but he's an elemental. And so, you know, we're much different energetically, but it's pretty amazing. And there's so many elemental energies here. I was already working with those energies before I came here in California, and it's really opened up so much for me energetically being here. Um, it's clearly a lot higher frequencies than the United States, too. That's why it took me um, a lot of work to adjust um, into this environment because it's on much higher frequencies. They're getting nailed with these space storms on all new levels. Like, when I came here, I never felt anything so crazy with the energy I know everyone's kind of used to it on this side of the world but it's much different energetically so Sandra sending you lots of love reach out for others for assistance poor timing for a career change feeling challenged by money issues that's why we need to use this storm to kind of undo that programming so if you guys are putting out vibrations that you're hella broke right <laughs> that you're broke that you don't have any money that your job sucks whatever it is use this storm to get rid of that programming stop putting out those vibrations number one and start to think I am grateful I have this I am attracting money to me money is on the way hella cash is coming start to rewire with better affirmations about it Megan Marie Caraway you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself thinking you're powerless when you're not a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want we need to have confidence in our abilities a lot of people will tell you oh, that's ego right if you have too much confidence now you need to have confidence in who you are and what you're doing here in your abilities at some point um, you need some energetic confidence tune into who you are Lisa White a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity partnering with others before you share your dreams great progress is being made and it really is because we're changing on a cellular level and there's progress being made within ourselves on every level we're changing and evolving Tiffany Bailey Lulu a brilliant success the freedom to go in any direction a journey that is now complete all right, I'm going to go on this note because I have a lot of work I'm going to do on my site today that I'm manifesting. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go, but I'll be back for a full moon kind of special tomorrow. I'm going to do some type of cool feed. I'm going to think up one today. And I'll do some type of moon magic feed that'll be fun for us to do. And I'll have a better topic. So I'm excited about the moon tomorrow. Make sure you guys are charging your crystals, getting a lot of rest, taking salt baths, clearing clutter out of your house and your lives, getting rid of toxic people, getting rid of anything or anyone that is not serving you on your spiritual path. So you better inventory of your life. But you guys need to release anything that you're holding on to from past events. You can't take them with you. I'm sorry. You can't take any shitty memories memories, childhood traumas, wounds with you. We need to let go of them now. Leave them at the door, right? So we need to just let go. They're not coming with you. We need to just, you know, realize that this was a hard journey. Um, you're not the only one who went through this experience. Everyone has a lot of healing work to do around us. We're all at the same place with it. Let go now. Become lighter. Understand the big picture that this is not about you and your limited experience about this planet making an ascension into higher dimensions and you coming here to serve as a light worker so you agreed to take on some pretty shitty experiences well aware you can let go of them now you um are who you are now that was a long time ago let go you were hate, holding on to way too much on a soul level we're being too hard on ourselves too that if it was you know your friend who had been through the same experience that you're holding on to you would be like it's okay right let go it's not so bad you will be giving them this nice uplifting advice but when it comes to ourselves we're way too hard on ourselves about the things that we've been through so take your own advice give yourself advice you would give a friend because we're so hard on ourselves like on every level like be a little more compassionate to yourself in your situation just let go of it now um, let go of anything that you're playing the victim about too that's awful because then we don't clear the karma we need to just let go of this stuff now let go of any resentments judgments bad relationships toxic people anything holding you down from living in that heaven on earth type of reality for the people that are having financial problems yes I'm aware of the state of the world stop putting out the vibrations and thoughts that are reinforcing that I don't care if you have no money in your bank account and it's true stop reinforcing it immediately start to see 
the gratitude and the things that you do have. Start to put out good vibrations like cash is coming. I'm manifesting money. I'm getting more money. My situation's improving. Try to put out better thoughts about it because the worst thing that you can do is sit around and worry about things that could happen that are going to go wrong in your life or things that you don't want to see create. So just stay really positive with the storm. We're going to be shifting timelines based on everything that you're thinking about with this energy. So try to like daydream about like I said yesterday, if you had a million pounds in the bank account, what would your life look like tomorrow? Because I'm pretty sure I might quit my job and like go to another country and explore the world and I'd probably just be doing something totally different, right? So money clearly is um, influencing our reality a little too much. So pretend you guys just won the lotto, you got a million pounds in your bank account, what would you do? Start to make lists about that. Start to think about your dream vacations, things you could never do, impossible things. Put it out there. It will manifest. So it's really powerful, this energy. Stay really high vibe. Um, definitely check my site out. I'm going to be doing activations. If you like my videos, get something on my site. Help support what I'm doing. And I'll be back tomorrow.